is their environmental plan. They don't have an environmental plan. After eight years of raising taxes on consumers, uh, they still can't hit their targets. And they seem to suggest that if the if Canadians were just forced to pay more for gas, groceries, and heat, that forest fires would stop. Mr. Speaker, that is ridiculous. All that has happened is a 40-year high in food price inflation. One in five Canadians skipping meals because they can't afford food. 1.5 million going to food banks. Uh, now, Mr. Speaker, they want a 61 cent a litre carbon tax. Will they axe the tax so Canadians can afford to eat? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. So, Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party of Canada say that if they were in power, they would, they would work through technology to reduce pollution. It's Honourable Minister, for about you've got about 20 seconds left, please. Interestingly enough, Mr. Speaker, they had 10 years to do that when they were in power. My friend and colleague, the Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development, does more for clean technologies on an average day before for his first coffee, Mr. Speaker, than they did in 10 years. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, what we did in 10 years is reduce emissions while the economy grew, which proves the following quote. I take great exception to the federal minister always forcing this into a dichotomous issue. Either you believe in exactly what we say or you don't believe in climate change. That's completely logical. It's completely false dichotomy. It's a false dilemma and it's as insulting as it is simplistic. Who said that? The Liberal Premier of Newfoundland. He says the carbon tax will bring inflationary pressures to his people. Why won't they listen to the Liberal Premier and axe the tax? Yes. The Honourable Simply promising to invest in the fight against climate change means nothing if those dollars don't make it out the door. Mm -hmm. Time is of the essence. Our country is burning and the next generation is looking on in horror. How can the minister justify dragging his feet on the most important issue of our time? Sure. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Speaker, this is the most important issue of our time, which is why we've invested billions of dollars, which right. is why we're deploying regulations. Right. Let me talk about the National Adaptation Strategy. This is what Climate Proof Canada had to say about it. Climate Proof Canada applauds the Government of Canada on a world-leading national adaptation strategy. Let's talk about the Insurance Bureau of Canada. Canada's first national adaptation strategy is brave and ambitious. No other country has proposed such a comprehensive and suit of adaptation targets. We are working to help Canadians prepare for the impacts of climate change, Mr. Speaker. Right.